Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Assuming you have all of the relevant information about your loan, you can enter the loan into the Loan Manager to set up a payment schedule. Using the Loan Manager allows you to manage all of the loans that you have to pay from a single screen. To add a loan to the Loan Manager, select Banking from the menu bar and then choose the Loan Manager command. This will launch the Loan Manager window where you can click the Add a Loan button. In the Add a Loan window, select the name of the liability account that you want to add from the Account Name drop-down. The balance of the account will be shown as the current balance. Use the Lender drop-down to select the name of the bank who lent you the money. Then enter the origination date of the loan. This is the date used to calculate the loan maturity date and the number of remaining payments. Enter the original amount of the loan into the original amount field. In the Terms section, enter the terms of the loan by typing a number and selecting the time increments for that number from the adjacent drop-down. Then click the Next button to continue. On the next screen, enter the due date of the next payment into the box provided. In the Payment Amount field, enter the total amount of the loan payment. Then enter the next payment number if desired. In the Payment Period drop-down, select the type of payments that you make. If the loan has an escrow payment, you can select the Yes Option button for that question and then enter the escrow amount and the asset account used to track escrow payments. You can also leave a check within the Alert Me 10 Days Before a Payment is Due checkbox to have that feature applied. Then click the Next button to continue. On the next screen, enter the interest rate as a percentage into the interest rate text box. In the Compounding Period drop-down, select the type of compounding used for the loan, monthly or exact days. If you select exact days, then select whether the lender is using a 360 or 365 day year for their calculations from the Compute Period drop-down. Select the bank account from which you make the payments in the Payment Account drop-down. Then use the Interest Expense Account to select the expense account that you use to track loan interest payments. Then use the Fees slash Charges Expense Account to select the expense account used to record the amounts assessed for late payments and other penalties. When you are finished, click the Finish button. The loan will be added into the Loan list in the Loan Manager window. You can click it to select it and then click the three tabs below it to view the summary of the loan, the payment schedule, or the contact info for the lender. To set up a payment for a loan listed within the loan list, select the loan within the list and then click the Set Up Payment button. This will launch the Set Up Payment dialog box where you first use the This Payment Is drop-down to select either a regular payment or an extra payment. Double check the payment information to ensure that the amounts listed are correct. Then use the drop-down in the Payment Method section to select the method of payment that you want to use. Click the OK button to view the loan payment as either a check to pay now or a bill that you can pay later depending on your choice made from the drop-down in the Payment Method section. If you need to edit a loan, select the Loan Name within the Loan List section of the Loan Manager window and then click the Edit Loan Details button. This will launch you through the same wizard that you initially used to create the loan, allowing you to change any information as needed. 
To delete a loan from the loan manager, you can select the name of the loan within the loan list and then click the Remove Loan button to the right. You will then need to click Yes in the confirmation dialog box to remove the selected loan. In the Loan Manager window, you can also click the What If Scenarios button to launch the What If Scenarios dialog box. You can use the drop down at the top of this dialog box to answer hypothetical questions about your loans, such as What if I change my interest rate? You can select a question you wish to investigate further and enter any requested information in the area below. This can be a very useful tool to compare loans and make sure that you aren't paying too much for the money that you have borrowed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.